My name is Maher Lewis and today I'm going to demonstrate to you how to save uh, a, an assembly set for intersection creation. Uh, the demonstration requires AutoCAD Civil 3D 2010, so we'll open that up first. Um, right here I have a drawing called Test 1 which I saved arbitrarily on the desktop. Um, this is primarily a demonstration on how to make an assembly set for an intersection creation tool. In any case, uh, here you have, here I have uh, two alignments and each alignment has its own finish grade profile and I created this intersection using the intersection uh, creation tool which is right here in the corner. Uh, to do this intersection it requires uh, several assemblies, uh, eight of them as a matter of fact. Um, you can see them right here. Okay, this is a set which came out of the box. Whenever you uh, cr use this intersection creation tool, um, it, it gives you uh, two different types of intersections. One is where the main road intersection crown is maintained, and the second one is where all the crowns for both intersections are maintained. Uh, the one, the the one, the set here that you see here, this was for the primary road crown is maintained. So when you make this intersection, it, cr it brings in these assemblies and it puts it in your drawing, and here they are, okay? Now, what you want to do is to make your own uh, assembly set, you need to modify these. The first thing in the modification that you must do is you need to have to rename each one of these, all right? So you go to properties, I'll delete the word section, and I'll put the word main. Okay, so this one is going to be my um, main uh, assembly set. Okay, for me, um, I don't need these daylights. Uh, I don't need to match or have my uh, finish grade uh, get to the surface as of yet. So I'll delete all these daylights. Uh, okay. And uh, my roads typically from center line to edge of pavement or uh, to loop a gutter uh, are very narrow uh, pavement. So I'm going to have all these uh, reduced to a uh, dimension of 8. So I'll have 16 feet of pavement maximum. Alright, so I'll do that here. 8. Alright, so they all automatically uh, become what they have to be. And then of course, um, the other thing is that uh, whenever you have a narrow road, um, especially in a condo and apartment complex, uh, most of the buildings are relatively are a lot closer to the pavement uh, than than uh, than what's normal. So, for example, I'd have like a, a building right up against the the back of curb, you know, or three feet from, and it'd be very difficult for a car to go from the road up to the house going over this type of curb. So, uh, what I do is I change up the curb. I use this urban curb gutter valley and uh, we're going to do the right side first, so you see it's right here, right side, okay, so we'll do this, like that. And then again, we'll do the left side now, and we'll do the left. And then we'll delete the old curves, which uh, we don't need anymore. So, again, I modified the assembly set. So now I have these eight. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do another intersection. Okay. I'm going to go, same one. I don't, it doesn't really make much difference. I'll go to the same intersection. Okay. Ask me for which road I want to do. Yeah, and I told you that I'm doing this primary road crown maintained. Okay, we'll go next twice. 
and you see here is the assembly set now obviously this is not the one with the word main on it these are the ones that are that come out of the box and here here's the assembly set that comes out of the box right there so these assemblies come from this assembly set what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to select the ones that call main all right so this is primary road intersection through this one's a full section okay this one is the uh, primary on the left daylight there's the left daylight primary road there's the primary road right daylight okay secondary road full okay secondary road half on the left secondary half on the right okay so now what I did is I then I chose the assembly to 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 this intersection and I'm going to do a save as you see I didn't do any creation of intersection I did a save as so you do that and it brings you to this window which you can then save so I'll call this main which then the primary road uh, road maintained primary crown maintained okay so this is a main row where the primary crown is maintained go save okay create intersection now obviously you know I have two overlapping corridors now <laughs> um, and for this demonstration all I'm doing is I, I created the assembly set for this this drawing and I called it test one now let's close this guy you don't have to save him you know you can let's just go save All right and here I have another drawing okay same same drawing as before this one's called test two alright I'm gonna do a pr intersection here it's gonna ask me which uh, one is gonna be my main guy uh, I'm gonna do this primary road crown and I'm going to select remember I have a, a, a had an assembly set called main primary road crown maintained okay and it automatically look what it does automatically sets all the assemblies to apply the one that I created and I can create the assembly create the intersection very quickly there you go there you go that's that's the uh, conclusion to my demonstration thank you for watching